How long does pre-cum survive outside the body and can it cause pregnancy if it touches the vagina? Hello, and welcome to today's video. We're tackling a topic that often generates a lot of questions and myths, the mysteries of pre-cum. Specifically, how long does pre-cum survive outside the body and can it cause pregnancy if it touches the vagina? What is pre-cum? First, let's clarify what we're talking about. Pre-cum, or pre-ejaculate, is a clear fluid that the male body produces during sexual arousal, but before ejaculation. It helps to lubricate the urethra and clear out any acidic urine that could harm sperm. Contrary to popular belief, pre-cum itself does not contain sperm. However, if a man has recently ejaculated, some sperm might remain in the urethra and mix with pre-cum. How long does pre-cum survive outside the body? Now, let's get to the heart of the question. How long does pre-cum survive outside the body? The lifespan of pre-cum outside the body largely depends on the conditions. In general, pre-cum, like semen, starts to lose its viability shortly after exposure to the air. The survival time can vary from minutes to a few hours at most, depending largely on the environmental conditions such as temperature and humidity. Can pre-cum cause pregnancy if it touches the vagina? This brings us to our next important question. Can pre-cum cause pregnancy if it touches the vagina? The possibility of pre-cum causing pregnancy is much lower than that of actual semen because it generally does not contain sperm. However, if a man has ejaculated recently and some sperm has mixed with the pre-cum, there is a chance, although small, of pregnancy. This could potentially happen if pre-cum with sperm comes into direct contact with the vagina. However, it's important to remember that the chances are relatively low compared to unprotected intercourse, but it is not zero. In conclusion, while pre-cum can survive for a short period outside the body and it has a low chance of causing pregnancy if it touches the vagina, the best way to prevent unintended pregnancies is always to use reliable forms of contraception. Remember, this information is intended to educate and inform, not to replace professional medical advice. If you have more questions, we always recommend speaking with a healthcare provider. Thank you for watching today's video, and we hope you found it helpful and informative.